I was scared because I didn't know whether the flames, whether the car was going to blow up. These 10 teens became unlikely heroes in the face of danger. 10. Anthony Alexander 16-year-old Anthony Alexander Jr. was playing basketball when a young girl approached asking for help. Oh my God, can you help me? Uh, my, friends are, my friends are down in the lake drowning. Anthony called 911, then rushed to help three kids who had fallen into an icy pond nearby. I jumped in and grabbed a stick. Anthony was able to reach a little girl out and help her out as well. The water was so cold that he had to fight off the shock. Meanwhile, as a police vehicle rushed to the scene, they collided with another squad vehicle. Thankfully, no one was harmed. When an officer finally arrived, they helped pull the last child to safety. Anthony thought nothing of his actions and continued on with his day, but he was later honored publicly for his heroism. Anthony surrounded by several proud family members. Tragically, a year later, Anthony was accidentally shot and killed by a friend who was playing with a firearm, not realizing it was loaded. Nine, Anthony Jonger. I was just listening to music, then I just hear a huge splash. When an SUV drove from a parking lot into the Patchogue Bay on Long Island, New York, 17-year-old Anthony Jonger took matters into his own hands. That evening, Anthony was listening to music in his car, but when he noticed everyone running, he got out to help. She was trying to open the door first. She couldn't get the door open and started banging on the window. The 18-year-old driver had accidentally stepped on the gas instead of the brake pedal and was now sinking in the bay. Without hesitation, Anthony dove in and was able to open one of the back doors. He pulled a woman, Mia Samolinsky to safety. Anthony says, dying while suffocating is one of my worst fears, so I couldn't imagine anyone going through that right in front of me. I feel like anyone would make that decision. He didn't have a plan. <laughs> An aspiring Marine at the time, Anthony was eventually recruited by the U.S. Marine Corps. 8. Jamal Rutledge This young man saved the life of his arresting officer. In September 2014, 17-year-old Jamal Rutledge was arrested in Florida for violation of probation for burglary and criminal mischief by Officer Franklin Folks. As Jamal was handcuffed, Folks collapsed onto the floor. Surveillance video from the Fort Lauderdale Police Department shows Officer Franklin Folks leaning back and collapsed to the floor. Jamal stood to check on folks, then called for help. He even banged on the gate to get the attention of the other officers. So he got everybody's attention by yelling and kicking a door. One officer removed Folks's gear and shirt, and another performed CPR. Soon after he was taken to the hospital, Rutledge, along with the other aiding officers, were honored at a ceremony that same month. Seven, Corian Evans. I just see them screaming, help. And when I first seen him, I was like in shock. I was like, no, no way this is really happening. When Corian Evans saw a car with three teenage girls plunge into the Pascagoula River in Mississippi, he knew he had to act. I can't let none of these folks die, he said. The car had three teenage girls inside. The driver had accidentally driven off the end of a boat launch following her GPS around 2.30 a.m. in July of 2022. With the girls shouting for help and most of the car underwater, the 16-year-old immediately ran over, took off his shoes and shirt, and dove into the water. This is where I had jumped from. Despite potential alligators in the water, Corian swam without hesitation, saying, I just started getting them. I wasn't even thinking about nothing else. He rescued one of the girls, bringing her back to shore, then returned to the car to help the others. And the other girl, she didn't know how to swim, but she knows how to, like, keep her head above water. One of Corian's friends also jumped in and helped get the girls to the roof of the car. 20 feet away from the shore, the swim was not easy. Local Moss Point police officer Gary Mercer also swam out to help, but got in trouble himself. Upon helping one of the panicking girls, he went under and swallowed some water. Like, he's telling her she's gonna be okay. And um, she got, like, directly on his back. Corian spotted him struggling and said, I see the police officer. He's drowning. He's going underwater, drowning, saying, help. So I went over there. I went and I grabbed the police officer, and I'm, like, swimming him back until I feel myself I can walk. The officer and the three teens were taken to the hospital following the incident, and thankfully all parties made a full recovery. One of the victims, named Cora Watson, wrote in a Facebook post that, This man right here saved my life right before my last breath. Police Chief Brandon Ashley praised Corian by saying, If Mr. Evans had not assisted, the situation could have turned out differently. Instead of all occupants being rescued safely. Football standout Corian Evans receiving some well-deserved recognition. Moss Point City officials presented Corian with a certificate of commendation for his heroism in rescuing four people and was one of the honorees at the 2023 Red Cross Heroes Among Us Gala.
Six, Savannah Strother. Were you terrified? I don't know, it was just kind of a blur. Like, I just remember running out and feeling the heat on my back. When a fire broke out next door, this 15-year-old babysitter rescued a one-year-old, a three-year-old, and the family dog. Just moments before, Savannah had heard explosions outside. I thought it was gunshots at first, and then, as I was running out, I felt the heat, Savannah said. Everyone, including the dog, were unharmed because of Savannah's actions. I feel like I did what anyone else would do. Savannah was awarded the Hometown Hero Award by the High Ridge Fire Protection District and also received a $500 check. We're very proud um, to see that and have her in our district. Five, Jocelyn Milliam. 13-year-old Jocelyn was feeding her six-month-old sister while waiting for her mom who was inside the gas station. Suddenly, a man jumped into the driver's seat and drove off. I thought it was my mom at first, Jocelyn admits. I just remember that whole time just thinking in my head that I was never gonna see my kids again. Jocelyn tried to reason with the man, pleading for him to take her and leave her little sister alone. When that didn't work, Jocelyn managed to dial the police. She left the phone on the seat as she began attacking him, hitting him in the head, neck, and face. Jocelyn even stuck her body out the window to try and alert other drivers. The man finally pulled into a parking lot and took off on foot. Police found the vehicle shortly after and the family was reunited. I didn't really feel it yet. The next day, police arrested Charles Brandon Peterson, a parole fugitive, after being tipped off about a man bragging about a carjacking. 4. Dylan Reeves This 13-year-old Michigan boy saved a bus full of children when the bus driver passed out at the wheel. When Dylan noticed the bus on the verge of crashing, he took control, pressing on the brake and steering the bus away from traffic. The boy, who had experience driving golf carts, then called out to his peers to contact 911. This was an extraordinary act of courage and maturity on his part. None of the children on board were hurt. 3. Tamar Boggs when a man abducted five-year-old Jocelyn Rojas while she was playing in her yard, 15-year-old Tamar hopped on his bike with a friend and began searching the neighborhood. There were about 100 first responders, which included a 15-year-old teenager. Upon following a suspicious car, Tamar noticed Jocelyn in the passenger seat. He chased the car for 15 minutes until the abductor let her out on a street corner. I guess he got scared. Tamar brought Jocelyn to a firefighter and gave a description of the man to police who was later arrested and identified as a known sexual predator. 2. Jasmine and Jacora Lashale Morris 15-year-old Jasmine and her 17-year-old sister Jacora were watching TikTok videos when they looked out the window and saw two boys drowning in an icy pond in February 2023. At some point, they were going to just stop moving. The sisters sprang into action and jumped into the freezing water. One boy was trapped under the ice and Jacora pulled him out by his hand. You could see the relief and the happiness that he was out the water. The teens received the Carnegie Medal for Civilian Heroism. One, Justin Gavin. This high school senior pulled four people from a burning car. I was scared because I didn't know whether the flames, whether the car was going to blow up. At Justin Gavin was walking to the store when he noticed a car engulfed in flames driving erratically down the street. Justin took off after it, yelling, Stop the car! Your car is on fire! Your car is on fire! When the car came to a stop, Justin raced to help. He helped a woman out of the front seat, then noticed three children in the back seat. My heart dropped. He asked the nine-year-old child to unbuckle her siblings, ages four and one, from their seats so he could carry them out. I would be in that situation. I would definitely want someone to do the same thing. The local police chief honored Justin with a challenge coin, which is awarded to officers who demonstrate acts of bravery. It made me realize life is short, Justin says, who hopes to be a Marine or first responder someday. Thanks for watching this episode of Crime 101. Let us know your favorite story and any stories we may missed out on. Be sure to subscribe for more like this.